Hello, my name is Noah, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can add a form to your Notion Potion website using Notion Forms. Forms, you know, are pretty much something that you're most likely gonna need on our website. Almost every website uses them. If you need like a contact form, a way for people to sign up for early access, or you just wanna collect some data, forms are a great way to do that. And Notion Forms here is an awesome way to do this with Notion and Potion because it takes your data and puts it right into a Notion database where you already live, obviously, if you're using Notion and Potion for your website. So you're first gonna go to notionforms.io and click create a form. After you click create a form, uh, it will take you through the steps of giving access to your Notion workspace. You can choose a Notion workspace to give Notion Forms access to, and after you do that, you'll see that Notion Forms has access to your workspace. I already gave Notion Forms access to this page here, and so any data tables that I make inside here, Notion Forms will be able to see. And so then you'll be at this screen where you can click create a new form, and this is where you actually select the database that you want this form to be built out of. Like I said, all the data would go to this form. So let's just go ahead and make a table. And we're gonna kind of do like a pretend like we're doing an early access. So let's do an email. And so you kind of select the fields in your database that would you, you, you would obviously have. So like name, maybe we'll ha have like a question, why? Why join, why are you interested? Something like that, and it's a text. We can put that one first. So we'll have these three questions as a part of our form, and any data added will populate this database. So now we go back to Notion Forms, hit refresh, and we should see, yep, our early access database here, and we can click continue to create our form out of that database. And so you can see here that we have this nice little preview of our form. You can kind of make it an embed mode, which is most like what you'll do. You can add a little description, join or access to see this awesome product, yada, yada, whatever you want to put. And so all the customization you can have are, is here on the left. Um, you can even like drag and drop to change the orders, you can hide fields so that they show up in your Notion database but not actually to the user. Um, you can see there's some settings here. Most of this we'll just keep as default. You can also make these required, which we might as well go ahead and do. Now if you wanted to add any fields, you could either add a custom block, which I believe won't actually um, be added to your Notion uh, table right away. Um, you'd have to add it separately. So kind of the easiest way is just to add another field to your Notion table, and then you can just reload on this page, and then it should have added because all the fields here will stay consistent and synced with what you have in your Notion database. Now, if you're on the pro plan, you can change some colors, um, make things look a little bit more unique. You can even remove the branding. Um, and some stuff like that. <clears throat> so yeah, check out these, but this is pretty much all we need. So I'm gonna head and say, create form. And so now you're kind of, you've created your form. You now can kind of see what things are gonna look like. We can even open up a fo the form just on a page to kind of show what this could look like. But we're gonna add this to our Potion website. So all we really need to do is embed this form. And so you're gonna click on this link here to copy, and this will be the embed link. So now I'm gonna to navigate to my website that I'm working on, and you'll probably be working on something. I'm just gonna add an early access page. So now to add this form in Notion, all you need to do is make an embed block, paste that code, embed, and there we go, we have our form. You can kind of drag this probably want to drag it till that slider is gone. And so it looks like so. And now, theoretically, your early access um, <clears throat> form is on the page. And you can see here that we kind of have early access twice. So let's just go back just to show how this can work to the edit form. And I'm pretty sure we can hide the title, hide title. So we'll hide it there so that the page itself will actually show it. Um, I might have to jump back for it to actually load. 
load in Notion. There we go. See, now it's now it's gone. We might as well get rid of that text. It's kind of duplicate. So now it's there. Um, and so as long as you have this page a part of your Potion website, this will be inside your Potion website. So here is actually my website here, and you can see um, that my Notion form is here. And so now just to show kind of what this looks like if I add a random email. Why am I interested? Because it's awesome. Hit submit, submit my form. Um, and I believe there is a way that you can actually redirect on submission to a, another page that's like a success page instead of having this success text here, which you can also set in Notion Forms. But we submitted, and so now let's go check out our database in Notion. Let's see, down here. And you can see, boom, there it is. This is our data. Um, I can go ahead, you know, you can go ahead and delete the ones that were empty. But yeah, now you're gonna have your data with your forms and it's right where you want it in Notion because, you know, like I said, most likely you love Notion already. So it's awesome to have all your data here and you can kind of track it here. And that's how you can add a Notion form to your Potion website and start to get any kind of data. Um, I'm pretty sure Notion forms supports all these different property types. So you can grab multi-selects, numbers, maybe even dates and emails. So it's a really cool tool and hopefully this guide really shows you how you can add some cool forms to your Potion websites. Um, if you have any questions, you can always reach out at potion.so in the live chat in the bottom right corner. Um, otherwise, hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in another video.